you. The blind leading the blind, so how the fuck can niggas stare at me? And life will roll you rumble. I'm on the edge, they trying to spare me. I've been fighting demons, pray to God, but he don't hear me. Caught on all that dick ride, new niggas trying to get near me. If it's crunch time, just put me in the game and they gonna cheer me. I don't think nobody out here fucking with me. That's just a theory. What's up, world? It's DJ Chuck Spins, and it's the Chuck We Trust podcast. I got me a guest I've been following for a little minute right now. I, I pretty much want to say since, like, the beginning of him rapping, like, yeah. stuck in my ways type beginning. Yeah. Uh, I got NFL Jizzle with me right now. What's up, bro? What's up, fam? How you feeling? Shit, I appreciate you pulling up on the shit. Man, shit, no problem. You know how you, you know what's up. <laughs> no problem, no problem. Yo, man, Jizzle, we, we really, I've been, I've been working with Jizzle for a little minute for real, like, just pulling up in his neighborhood, just... I've been wanting to do an interview with him, stuff just ain't, ain't work out business stuff. Yeah, we need... Regular stuff. <laughs> but yeah, we I, never cut a line, you feel me? We uh, was always on, you feel me, two different times. But shit, I mean, shit, we here now. But I like to, I like to start from the beginning every time I, I sit down with somebody, especially one of the new guys, because it's a new time in Baltimore. Right. You and, like, select others is, like, pushing the older people out. It, it's your time now. Yeah, I mean, you can look at it like that, yeah. What got you started rapping? Uh, just on some plan around, not really plan around shit, but just on some late night studio shit with my man and them, you feel me? Scudder Muds, Freedom, by the way, you feel me? They had some time left mm -hmm. over from their session. I'm like, fuck it, I'm ready to try it. Like, you feel me? I'm ready to try it right quick. I wind up doing that shit. They like, man, that shit hard, like keep going i'm thinking he just you feel me telling me anything it ain't my friends and shit like no oh, so i start you feel me letting people hear the song they like shit yo you gotta keep that shit going you gotta keep that shit going went like that and i just went you feel me went about it like that and i was stuck in my waist no nah. what was your first song my first actual song that i ever recorded is called youngins it's out it's what no i don't think so. i probably will never drop that song but it's me it's me uh, it's me, Scudder, and Kwani, Chop Boy Tay. Okay. So, that probably don't never get dry. I don't like my part on it, because I feel like I sound stiff. Like, now, how I hear myself rapping now, mm -hmm. back then, like, that's my first song, so it's like, I'm no energy on the song. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying words type shit, like. I'm just saying words, so I think that shit real. Like I ain't ever probably don't never drop that song, but for the ones that got it, they got it. They know how stuff how stuff I sound on that song, like. And we're like we're like Scudder and Chopper Boy Tay. They been rapping, so I was like, yeah. That never like just motivated you to like want rap, or you never saw yourself <clears throat> as a rapper. I mean, everybody grew up trying shit. Mm -hmm. Get what I'm saying? So of course I hear that like fuck you, fuck you, I'm ready to be a rapper. Probably when I was like 11, 12. Chalk that shit up like I ain't, I ain't rapping like that ain't me. I was always just, like you feel me. I like sports, so mm -hmm. for me rapping like I was always in the sports like football, basketball, all type of sports. Like I never was really worried about rapping until that one night they had that that time left over. And I'm like fucking, I'm ready to try it again, and I did it. I me personally, I still don't like the song, all right? But people say that they like it, and I should keep going. So that's what got me here today. So I'm thankful that. You feel me? They like the the taste of the music. You might gotta drop it on SoundCloud or something just for the just for the one time for the it's, one time. You know like. what? It's real crazy, right? It's real crazy that you say SoundCloud. I got some shit when I was like ten years old on some recording on my phone shit on SoundCloud. Voice hella squeaky, like I'm not gonna tell y'all what it is because I ain't really I ain't I don't feel like going through that on social media. <laughs> right. But yeah, that shit on there and that shit horrible. Like, nah. For the ones that don't know, where you from? Emerson Village. Yeah. I'm from Loudoun Avenue, but it's like my hood is consists of three blocks, normally Franklin and Loudoun. Mm. I'm from Loudoun, though, but West Baltimore. Emerson Village, all right? And that's where, like, the NFL come from? No, not really. NFL stand for never forget loyalty, you mm. feel me? Police then made it into some other shit on some indictment shit, so now they look at it like the the three blocks for real is like criminal shit, so I don't I don't really be putting my name on that. But oh that shit! I never totally, forget loyalty. I totally understand. It was just, it was just one time. It's like not even like it was just one time. I just felt like the police was just targeting rap groups. That's what they do. They like, still do it to this day though. Like, like I just feel like like when they was like saying like like when coming with indictments and stuff like that, they was coming with like rap names like 
targeting groups where known rappers to be at. I was like, that's crazy. That's something that I always just seen Trying to use from the, the music beginning. and all that. So like, I understand that's that. Right, man. They, they got to know, like, this shit is entertainment purposes. Like, if y'all ain't going to do that shit to industry rappers that rap about doing all this shit and doing all, don't try to do it to us just because y'all look at us as local. You feel me? Like, if y'all going to do something to one the one part you gotta do that shit to everybody like right. they can't make laws for specific people like that's mm. you feel me what gave you that like confidence like what so was so stuck in your ways like the first song that you like put out yeah what yeah. gave you that confidence of like all right this the one right here so at that made that first song was scudder and, and uh and chat boy tay excuse me and i made that first song was scudder and chat boy tay i started going to the studio more. Mm -hmm. Kept trying songs, kept trying songs. Stuck in my ways was just a song. I felt as though like, uh, yeah, this gonna be my breakout song. Like, this gonna be the song I drop. This gonna be the song that I'm letting people know that I'm, you feel me? I'm now rapping. Mm -hmm. So, I got the song done. I listened to the song like, then the song hard as shit. Everybody in the studio like, yo, that song hard as shit. Yo, you gotta do a video to it, bro. You gotta drop it, bop, bop, bop. Like, fuck it. I hit up uh Nick T V. Mm. Shout out Nick. He did the uh the mic the yeah, way yeah. you at shit. Right. That shit went crazy. And I'm like, shit, I'm gonna keep this shit going. Drop the tape after that. I mean, I was in the studio consistently, like since I dropped stuck in my ways, I just had like a like a like a passion for going to the studio and making music. Like mm. every like I'm in a studio damn near probably 15 hours out my 24 hours a day, like three times a week around that time. Like just making songs for the tape, making songs for the tape. I dropped the tape, people was fucking with that. I just kept it going and never looked back for real. Uh, being from Emerson Village, like I, I say like Emerson Village, one of them like areas where it's like a lot of prominent rappers come from there. You got a lot of well-known names that people know of like from that from Emerson Village. Yeah, definitely. Did you ever, like, look up to any of them or ever, like, see what they was doing and, like, use that as motivation? Yeah, for sure, for sure. Like, of course I looked up the school, you feel me? That's a big brother to me, you get what I'm saying? Like, when me and him, this shit way past rap, like, you feel me? I knew him my whole life. He watched me grow up for real, so not even as far as the music go, like, he helped me with, with life, you feel me? Showing me how to go about shit, showing me how to really do this music shit. But other than that, I mean, you feel me? Everybody that rap that come from my way, like Lorzat, Scola, all us, we kind of piggyback off each other for real. Like, you feel mm -hmm. me? I, I, like, say one time, you feel me? We in the studio. Scola be on some on some soft shit for real. Like, like on some harmonizing shit. I'm like, no, nah, Sean. Like, like, yo, the streets want the gangster shit right now. Mm -hmm. They be like, for real? Here, you feel me? Get on some gangster shit. Just like when he, you feel me, tell me, like, Jez, yo, they tired of hearing that gangster shit, yo, switch it up. I switch it up, and they fuck with it. So it's like, he he got an ear for it, and so do I. Because mm. we, we the same, but we around different crowds, you right. feel me? So, so, yeah, it be like that. Did, what, did you ever, like, want to be around, like, during that, like, real YBS time when, like, Scooter and stuff was, was like, around? I mean, shit, I met Scooter. Like, Scooter used to come around my way like it was his way type shit. Like, <laughs> right. you feel it wasn't hard to run into Scooter. But it was, like, around that time, I wasn't rapping or nothing. Like, I wasn't, I was just a little kid that liked to play sports, you feel me? Mm -hmm. Run around, I'm running around the hood all day with football pants on, with thigh pads and shit, playing football, running around doing dumb shit, like. You feel me? They always knew who I was, though. Like, right. it ain't no, like, I just, just now start fucking with them. Like, you feel me? That's family. Like, everybody that come from that way, dead and gone, in jail, like, you feel me? That's family. It's more than just a neighborhood. Like, it's family, y'all. You feel me? Look out for each other. How was it? How, how, what was school of reaction when you, like, you started rapping? He couldn't believe it. I think he couldn't <laughs> believe it. I think he couldn't believe it. He just probably, like, you know, he, Honestly, he probably think like, man, Jay's just trying to rap, man. He probably playing with that shit. Then when I showed him like, yeah, I ain't playing. Like I'm trying to really go all the way with this shit. That's when he really took a liking to me rapping for mm -hmm. real. Like I be in the studio with him. Like, dang, I'm trying to hop on it. Like, man, Jay ain't hopping on the song, yo. If you ain't gonna take it serious, I started showing him I'm taking it serious. 
we did the middleman shit. Man, that shit went crazy. Like four hundred thousand views on YouTube. Shit went crazy. Like, that was y'all first song together. Yeah. Um, I remember when that first came out because he got that, that like the I eight in the video. No, I have no. That suit and ties. He had the uh, the white had, Lamborghini. Yeah, the Lamborghini. The Lamborghini. He had the Lamborghini. How, how did that feel? Like, did you feel like really a part of like what they built at that part at that moment? Oh yeah, of course. Cool. Like I ain't gonna. I felt like I felt like Scola was introducing the rest of the rap game. You feel me? To me, mm -hmm. type shit. Like yeah, like he jumped on a song with me. Like you feel me? Scola, Scola name whole weight in the city as far as music. So it's like me getting on a song with him, and people barely know who I am. That's gonna make a nigga wanna look into that. Who the fuck is Shorty? Mm -hmm. Shorty got a song with Bobby Scola. Bobby, I don't even know who Shorty is. That's gonna make people tap in and tune in and listen to me. So you feel me? That that right there was just like, yeah, he bringing me into the game type shit. But that's how I look at it. Other people might not look at it like that, but that's how I look at it. That's, yeah, you feel me? that's my man forever grateful for him. Yeah, I see you got a couple, like, bigger name uh, features for real. Yeah. Uh, across your tapes, who was, like, the first artist to, like, other than Scholar to, like, reach out? Or somebody that's not a part uh, your uh, tape, I see you got like Lil B on it on your first tape. Yeah. So it's like, who was some other people that you got on your tapes that um re that reached out for real, like or like, oh, I work with you. I see you working for real. Uh, damn, uh, Bane, uh, A One Bane, mm -hmm. Leak gonna come up. Shit, who else? Um, damn, A One Bane, Leak gonna come up. Uh, OMB Peasy. Oh yeah, I just I seen that one too. Uh, I but I ran across Peasy in person though. Like I ran across him in person. You feel me? Just like you feel me talking. Like yeah, bop bop bop. I'm fucking with the music. Da, 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 da. He already was in the city. Mm -hmm. I'm like man, shit. I'm trying to work. Like you feel me? How much you want? He like Lord bro. Like bop bop bop. He talking that shit to me. Like man, yeah, Lord bro. Like like yeah, like you feel me? Like, he wants. You feel me? Some people for that shit. Man, that shit ain't nothing. Like, yo, how much you want? Yeah, man, give me five thousand. I'll do it tonight. If we don't do it tonight, though, I need ten. Ain't right, five thousand. We sh shot the video that night and all. Like, we did the song and shot the video that that same night, all in the studio. And that's love. That's a big artist. Yeah. Would Would you ever like go the route of like paying another artist, like a a big artist for a feature? Oh, what you mean by big like, artist? Like, like, like bigger than the city. Like, uh, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, I would. Yeah, yeah, hell yeah. Nah, I, I feel you. I feel you. Cause uh, I look at it like this: like I'm paying for exposure more than more than just me being on the song with him. It's like me paying for exposure because if I make the song with the with the with the with the rapper that's bigger than me, mm -hmm. once they drop it and let me know, like you feel me, that that fan base gonna come over to me and see what I'm fucking with. You get what I'm saying, like. Mm -hmm. So it's just it just be the exposure for me, like not really me having a song with a known artist. It's more so the exposure than anything. Let's, let's get into so your first tape, Criminal Minds. Where that name come from? <sighs> Once again, I'm just starting out. I, I'm just starting out. I'm like, damn, I need a hard ass mixtape name. Oh, it just came to my mind, like Criminal Minds. Like, every everything on the song, I'm I'm talking about doing some illegal shit. So it's like. Mind of a criminal, like criminal minds, it just stuck. Fuck it, I'm gonna go with that. And then just did it like that. W within that time, like you know, you was I seen you was dealing with a lot, you know, jail stuff like that. Yeah. How do how do you pass all of that and like going through the same natural process that it's like every other Baltimore rapper go through? You get what I'm saying? It's like every Baltimore rapper gotta take a pause because they gotta go to jail. Right. You ever try to like think of different ways to avoid that or? You know, so you can keep growing. Honestly, in this city, it ain't no way you avoid in jail unless you squeaky clean. Like, I mean, you go to jail for anything in this fucking city. Like, city petty as shit. Like, it ain't no, like, there's no getting around that. Like, jail is an obstacle you just got to overcome. Like, you got to move right to avoid it. But once you in it, it ain't, it like, once you in it, you in it. Do you ever feel like you gotta like leave to like avoid different nonsense and different like things that's gonna keep you from like 
reaching your full potential? Say it again. Do you feel like you you gotta like leave the city? I know it's like a big question. For yeah, everybody. yeah, Same yeah. Question. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Yeah, definitely, definitely got to leave the city. Like once you once you once you feel as though their own people starting to like look at you differently, like they starting to think you want some big headed famous shit. That's when it's time to go. Cause once they start thinking like that, that's when the hate come, the envy and all that shit. And now you don't know who to trust. Like people acting like that, you don't know whether or not they love you or they hate you. Like. If you gotta think about that, yeah, it's time to go, man. It's time to go. If if you if you had to leave, would you say you'll like go a different state? You just gotta go a little further out in Baltimore. You know, so, so, so. if I'm gonna leave, I'm gonna leave the state. Like I ain't, I'm gonna leave. I fuck around, leave the country. <laughs> like no, but yeah, definitely state wise. Like it ain't shit. Like just how like say if a nigga move out the county or something like Howard County. Just how you drive out Howard County. Same motherfuckers that's hating on you and want to do something to you can drive out Howard County. Like. Niggas be broke as shit. Niggas ain't catching no flight to do nothing to nobody. You get what I'm saying? Like, mm. niggas ain't stupid. So, man, fam, that shit just be that for real. When, when do you feel like, other than past, you know, you don't scroll the middle, man, when do you feel like you caught like, your own personal wave of people oh, knowing who you is? Suit and ties. Definitely suit and ties. It's like your number one song. Yeah. Do, do most you, most streamed song. See your size. Do you, do you feel like? Well, what do you think people like liked about that for real? That, I couldn't that even really. I couldn't really get all the, like, I couldn't get all the feedback I wanted to get from the song because when I dropped the tape mm -hmm. with shooting ties on it, I got locked up a week later, and I was locked up for what eight months. So when I came back home, I mean the shit was still getting played and everything, but it was like. People was telling me, like, yo, Sue and Ty's going crazy when he was locked up. Sue and Ty's going crazy when he was locked up. I'm mad as shit. I got locked up. I couldn't see the progress. Like, I couldn't see everybody fucking with the song. Like, I heard my shit was getting played in select. I mean, I heard my shit getting played everywhere. Like, it's like, damn, they fucking with it. But I wasn't there to see it. But you shot a video to that song, though. Yeah. You shot it before or after you got locked up? I shot it before. And you dropped it before? Yeah, I dropped it before, too. Because I, I, I remember, like, I remember hearing you like like talk about that song in a way. Like that was one like that was that was like your big solo song. Yeah. And like around the time where I started like really catching on to you is uh you on Scudder song. What get it on? Get it on. Yeah, that bitch went crazy too. What was like what was like your pro your process behind that? At this time this around the time uh the Philly Goats was just starting out like you feel me, they was getting big. Everybody doing a little hip dance and shit. Mm. Fuck it. Train ride past. We gonna hop on that motherfucker right quick. Fuck it. Let's make a dancing song. I found the beat. Just gotta like, oh, this the one. Just gotta do the hook on it. And we just back and forth, back and forth. While we in the studio making it, everybody else is in the studio with us. They out there, bitch, dancing like me and him in the booth. Trying like, yo, this bitch gotta be her. This gotta be her. We not even noticing. They already dancing like we barely said shit on it. On the song, cause it's just the beat, just so catchy. Like they already fucking with it. They don't even give a fuck what we saying at this point. Like it's just the beat and how we, you know, mm -hmm. how we like. That's all it be. Like most of the time, it just be the beat and your rhythm, uh, how you spitting your rhymes. Most of the time, people barely give a fuck what a nigga be talking about in their music. Like as you can see, most of these industry rappers don't be saying shit. Like mm -hmm. mumbling half the time. Talking about some whole other crazy shit, some gay shit. Like, it just be, you feel me? Like, it just be the rhythm of how you sign it and the beat. Uh, if that shit stick, people going to buy their head to it, people going to listen to it. What was your Scudder relationship before you got locked up? That's my man. Like, you feel me? He pushed me, I push him. How y'all like know each other? I knew Scudder for years. I met Scudder. Uh, first, my first time meeting Scudder was at, uh, I forgot who birthday it was. was I, I think it was d Dog birthday. Mm. Free d Dog too. I think it was d Dog birthday, but it was at like a hotel. Everybody came out. That was my first time actually meeting Scudder. This was probably like, like 2019, probably. Probably like 2019, 2018, something like that. And it's just been like that for real, like... I always, we always knew each other, like, I would know everybody that's around him, he'd know everybody that's around me, but me and him never, you feel me, really knew each other. Mm -hmm. 
until that day. And it just like came together for real. So how, how was it like when y'all was like, because y'all was really like coming together like at the same time. I knew you first, but just hearing you pushed me to him too. So I was like, how, how did y'all like feel like coming up at the same time? I remember running it's up. Cra- it's crazy because Scudder been rapping years before I started rapping. Like Scudder been rapping since high school, like since a kid. Like Scudder had freestyles on his Instagram, freestyles on his Facebook page. Like years, like years ago, 2016, 2017, he freestyled on Facebook, freestyled on Instagram. Like he been doing the rapping shit. That's why it's crazy. It's like we both caught the flame at the same time. It's like, damn, it took me a year to, to pop, but I can't say it's crazy because I also had Scola backing me. So it's like, mm-hmm. that pushed me up, you feel me, too. That shit just be weird. I don't know. Do you feel like it, it kind of came fast? Like what you had going on? Or the notoriety? People just know you? <clears throat> See, I can't really, I can't answer that as I was locked up. So I can't. Time different in jail, bro. Like, time 100% different. Like, it's like, when you go in, shit out there speed up. Like, it's like the time speed up. People might say, like, when you locked up, that shit be slow as shit. Like, nah, that shit go fast. Like, you'll be two, three weeks in. That shit feel like three days. Like, because you not doing shit new. Like, it's the same shit every day. Wake up, eat, watch TV. You feel me? Do what you do. Shower. Go to sleep. It's the same shit every day. Like, same routine. It is nothing new. So, that shit be going like that in jail. It's a whole different time space in jail and when you home. So, I couldn't really give you, like, a time frame of, like, how fast it took for me to get the notoriety that I got. But, when I was in jail, that shit felt fast. Uh, this this episode will be out like after your, the performance, but I know you were just telling me like you got a performance tomorrow. Yeah. Do you feel like like stuff like that when opportunities come like that? Do you are you like ready for that? Like the yeah, big stages yeah. and stuff like that. I look at it like I don't got no choice. Like if I'm like I know what come with the rap and shit. Like eventually I'm gonna get in front of them big stages. It's either they gonna like the shit or they not. Like if I ain't wanna do it, why I become a rapper? Like I I didn't make it this far to do you feel me chicken out on no. Because of a big crowd, see if they like it or they don't. What was like your best memory, like, of so far along this journey? Are you like rapping? Uh, I say, shit, shit, that's a good ass question. <laughs> I say, like, me interacting with with people I never thought I'd talk, I, I had conversations with, mm-hmm. like. I done had conversations with a lot of big name people, industry wise. I had conversations with Skiller Baby. I done had conversations with YBN, Nymea, or like OMB Peasy, Polo G. I done had conversations with a lot of people. So it's like, I never thought I had, I, I talked to them. Like, I'm looking at these niggas as superstars and they taking the time what they did to talk to me. So that's like, that let me know I'm doing something right. Do you ever, like, sit back and be like, like, damn, this really happening? Hold on. Yo. Why is he caught? Come on, bro. <laughs> do you I'm ever... Dumb as shit. Do you ever sit back and be like, yo, this this really happening? Like, I'm really living in this moment. Like, I've been around you, so it's like you, like, really, like, like real definition of street, for real. Like, yeah. you know, some people might fake it. Some people, like, like I'm going to say it. Like, I've been in your neighborhood. I done <laughs> seen all of the, right. there's the sea. Like, is it like, damn, like, oh, I never thought I'd be here. Let me ask you this. Definitely. If you wasn't rapping right now, what would you be doing? Or what would be your goals or, like, your mindset? Because, man, you, like, the same age, so it's like. I don't if know what I I'd be rap- doing. Honestly, if I wasn't rapping, I'd be up to no good. <laughs> I can say that. I'd be up to no good. Like, rapping keep me occupied. Like, it keep my mind on straight. Like, I got a goal. Like, that's why a lot of people be doing a lot of fucked up shit. Like, they don't have no goals. They not working towards nothing. They just living. Like, they just outside living day by day. They crossing bridges when they get to them. You got to have a goal. You got to... S- see like you gotta see shit through longevity like like if I wasn't rapping I don't know what the fuck I'd be wanting to do because I hate getting jobs like I just 
I just can't. Like, I, I hate working a job. That's just me, though. I'm not saying that that's bad. You mm. feel me? That's just me. Like, I I hate working a job. How do you feel like you, like, grown since from, like, Criminal Minds to, like, all Madden mm. as an artist? Two whole differently tapes. Like, both of them tapes, completely different. Like, I sound like a whole new person on all man than I do on Criminal Minds, in my opinion. What, like what, what was it like? Like, like, what was like your process? Like, the change up or like, what was different? Why you recording the two different tapes? All right, so, well, the person I recorded Criminal Minds also recorded uh, Madden too. You feel me? Majority of the songs. Shout out mixed by Kruger. Uh, just me really finding my flow and mm -hmm. finding my sound. Like, and around the time that I was doing the songs for Criminal Minds. Kruger ain't really know how I wanted myself, like how I wanted to hear myself. Right. He started to get it once we was doing uh, Madden tape. So he got the sound. He, like, he noticed the sound that I like to hear mm -hmm. and just kept me going with that. Like, like, I can't even explain it, but for the ones that know, you feel me, they know what I'm talking about. Do you feel like still chase, like, feel, do you feel like you still chasing that, like, gangster sound, like, or you trying to, like, expand your horizons? Definitely try and spam my horizons. Niggas tell me that. I, like every time I go to the studio, no exaggeration. I got two, three people telling me like, "Yo, you gotta do something for the biddies. Do some pain shit." Like they always telling me do different shit, but it's like I feel as though my fan base like to hear what I like. You feel me? Like they hear what I rap about. So it's definitely ain't nothing wrong with expanding your horizon and switching up your genres, but it's like. My fan base listen to me because they like what I put out. Mm. So why like change it? I change it here and there, but don't expect me to go from fucking who uh, PGF Nook to Drake. Right. You get what I'm saying? Right. Don't expect me to just completely convert and switch over like that. Like even if I do make some love shit, it's still going to be gangster. Like that's just who I am. It's still right. going to be gangster. That's just who I am. Like. It ain't going to be too much of a difference. Just probably a little mellow tone, a little slower beat. Mm -hmm. It's going to be the same shit all in all, though. Do you feel like like your environment of like growing up like molded you to be that person? Do you feel like if you lived somewhere else, you wouldn't be so like? I mean, yeah, but that's, that's everybody, though. Like, wherever they grew up at, like, wherever you grew up at, however the people around you raised you, more did you that's how you are when you when you grow up like like if i was born and raised out the county somewhere or something i wouldn't know shit about no guns most likely i wouldn't know shit about no none no illegal activities no drugs i no fiends no sixes of dope none of that shit you feel me because that's not what's in front of me if i'm in the county i'm saying green grass i'm saying right. picking fences and shit like I wouldn't want to, like, who wants to rap about that? Like, nobody want to hear that shit. You get what I'm saying? So I probably wouldn't even be a rapper. But definitely, yeah, where I come from, definitely, that's definitely what made me how I am. Being around school and, like, everything, like, he done been through and everything he done seen, what's, like, the most important advice that he done told you, like, coming up? Most important advice? Like, musically, <sighs> life. Stay out in people's way. Stay out the law way, man. Like, like, just do do whatever I can do the best to avoid a sentence. Like, just stay out them people way. Like the government fucked up. Like they, uh, like I said before, like they lock you up for anything. So don't even give them a reason. Like, just stay out their way. Continue with the music. Drop consistently. Stay out their way. Should have come together. All right, quick question. Being from Emerson Village. Do you have a top five Emerson Village rapper list in order? I don't even think it's good five rappers from the village. You don't think it's a good five? Five? That's five? Including five. you. Including you. A good five. I don't think. Who would be first? In my opinion. Mm -hmm. I got to get. I gotta give it to G-Rock. Okay. I got to <laughs> just wanted to hear you say it. I got to give it to G-Rock. Uh, it'll go G-Rock. All right, so is the five like in order or it's just random five? Like, now, I, I, I really because 
I thought about this question, I kind of put a five in order. So I want, I want, but you being from there, I want to hear your five, like in order, like, like from best to like who, 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 who top. And then who, like, you know, coming up. If it was top five, then they got to be good by some standard. But shit. Ah. Ah, shit. All right, all right, all right. So we're going to go G-Rock. G-Rock. Scola. Scola. Me. Yeah. Zach. Zach. Zach, I'm kind of iffy with Zach. Like, don't get me wrong. Zach, my man. Right. But that Stay Focused 2016, Zach. He ain't that Zach no more. Like, I feel as though the shit he was putting out back then, mm -hmm. 10 times. Like, we tell him this all the time, though. So it ain't like, you know, you feel me? Zach, man, if you watching this, man, yeah, we tell you all the time. Like, we get, yeah, we need that 2016 Zach back. That shit was 100 times harder than what he dropping now. But Zach definitely on there. Ugh. Hey. Five. It gotta be a fifth. I'm giving it a little B. I ain't gonna lie. Okay. I'm giving it a little B. Shit, you your music put me up a little B. I just I just asked like, oh, is what are your little B? Yeah. yeah I just had right to, I just had to, I just had to ask like like I like what do you like about him? Oh shit! Like I I watch him like same shit with me. Like I watch him actually make his first song. So I'm mm -hmm. seeing the progression. Like I'm seeing how better he getting with how he were and shit and how he going about like his rhymes like and he you feel me he really mean and shit like you feel me like he really want to go forward with the music shit so i'm like i'm saying his dedication i'm saying his progression like yeah it's like y'all motivate each other yeah definitely because he was on your first take mm -hmm. yeah, what well, yeah, two songs on your first take no no he wasn't on my first take but that I was think. the second take that was a second tape. Re, it was one tape I seen him with two. Yep. Yeah, that's yeah. that's uh shit, I forgot the songs, but it's a, again. It's something else. he on he on cut with shit. I ain't gonna lie. He on we probably got like 10, 15 songs together unreleased. Plus the shit that I already dropped. So like, what's next for NFL Jism? Shit. I'm just thinking. I want to make a switch to the to that five. You know, <laughs> who you taking out? Zach gotta go, yo. I'm, <laughs> I'm putting 29 tears in there, man. I forgot about my man. Okay. I'm not even thinking 29 tears. Yeah. That uh, what is called like uh, where I'm from with him in school. Yeah, yeah. I bumped that repeatedly. Yeah, Ted's crazy. I bumped. Yeah, Ted's crazy. I bumped. Yeah. Zach love you to death, bro. But you gotta bring that 2016 Zach back. In that in that same order. Yeah. Zach act like he don't even want rap like. But I mean, I think when you've been doing it for yeah, so long, though, yeah. you are. It's certain rappers that really been like you. I realize like a rapper like Scooter been dead for like seven years. That shit don't now. Nah, that is now nah, that feel. <laughs> that shit went by like that. I ain't gonna lie. That's, that shit don't even that's, feel that's that why long I said you, you and the select other rappers are like the next generation of rappers. Y'all the next ones up. Like it's it's your time for real. Cause you gotta realize like when Scooter dropped getting money twenty one. I remember being 15, 16, sitting in school like, man, I want to be just like that. I want to ride the hoverboard and I want, yeah. <laughs> you feel me? Like, <laughs> yeah. Like, I'm like, damn, yo. It, but yo, that's what I'm saying. Like, I, I, I take a full, I take full, like, yo, with like interviewing and podcast for niggas in their 20s. It's my turn. Niggas had, to, everybody else had that turn. It's time for other people to come up. And that's why I be like, you know, that's why I be trying to support the, the younger artists is coming up and all that because I could just reach out to all the other bigger artists, but I want to reach out to the ones that's like we coming up together, like right. Like I'm running into you. What? Woo, I think Merle and Douglas homecoming. I ran into you. I, I, I ran into you a couple times. I ain't running into like them no more. Like I remember running into them, but now I ain't running into them. Like is 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 y'all? You Scudder? I said I was Scudder, but we I pulled up like up there on Scudder. I, I I, I'm like, I was I was on a box when he did that. Yep, I I ain't want. It was the one of time you can't even really do the outside thing right now. But yeah, like, like that's what I'm saying. But I want. What's next for you? What's tape? Uh, singles. What you doing? Singles. I'm giving straight singles until like middle of this year. I'm giving straight singles because like with the tape, I feel as though. 
when I drop a tape, every song on a tape, I feel as though got a got mm-hmm. a single potential. Mm-hmm. Like all the songs I put on a tape, I can drop the singles and they go crazy. Mm-hmm. So like, why am I dropping on deaf ears? I'm I'm wasting music. You feel me? By just giving it out all in one tape, because you know who who really listens to a whole tape, like. Yeah, somebody right. might skip that song skip that song find two three songs they like and just play them out crazy right. don't even listen to the rest of the tape for real but all this shit could be hard so it's like I'm giving straight singles from, from, you, from right now straight singles and videos you waiting to catch like your next like big song that you're yeah. known for yeah <laughs> no I don't plan on going back in that motherfucker so yeah right shit I don't want to see you go back I don't want to see people keep going through the same rep- Moose, Scola. No, I go in there. All them going back to jail, back and forth in the middle of their waves. It's like, it really slowed the city down. I go in there and get wiser. That's all. Nah, that's, that's, that's shit. I Don't appreciate make the you. same mistake twice. You do your fool. I felt you. I appreciate you pulling up on me. I want to do this again in probably like another like year or two. Like, yo, you, last time we sat down, you was here. Right yeah. now, you like one of the biggest artists in the city. Like, I'm picturing that shit right now. Man. That's really <laughs> crazy. But it's, sure. it's DJ Chuck Spins, NFL Jizzle, Chuck We Trust Podcast. Appreciate you, my guy. No